much to learn you still have. Yes, Master. Two days away from the first day of spring, and it's snowing again. I mean, not that I'm complaining. We need every last bit of it. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, last night was pretty rough. My dad got very, very sick, so my mom and I went to take my niece and nephew home. And let's just say my mom is not crazy about night driving. And I've never done any, any night driving, so... <laughs> Uh, thankfully, we both got home in one piece, didn't hit anything, even though poor mom was scared out of her mind. But the point is, we made it, and we're both okay. Uh, my dad's feeling a little better this morning. My dog is doing absolutely wonderfully. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't ask for anything better, because she's, she's, she's practically back to normal. I mean, other than sleeping just a little bit more and whimpering just a little bit, being a little bit, um... Uh, cautious in the way she moves, she is just fine. So, with everyone not feeling well, we're obviously not going anywhere today. As for me, I'm probably going to spend the day playing in the snow. I'm just trying to think of what I can build. I've done a snow Yoda, a snow Obi-Wan, a snow R2-D2, a snow BB-8. Oh, I know. I can build a snow porg. Because there's not a whole lot out there. There's only about an inch. So, I think that's enough to make a little porg. So, as soon as I get dressed, go downstairs, go outside, and act like a kid. Okay, guys. So, since it's Sunday, I decided to do something that was suggested to me not long ago. Of course, I'm going to put my own spin on it. Uh, many of you know that... The concept of the Force is based mostly on Eastern religions. However, in the general story of Star Wars, there are um, elements that apply to Christianity. For example, uh, the, es the basic essence that I get out of Episodes 1 through 6 is that, yes, there are consequences for your actions, but it is never too late to turn back to the light, and that's what the story of Darth Vader is all about. So, that's one of the elements of Star Wars that I find that I I really like. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love Star Wars so much is because those themes are so strong. And um, honesty, humility, courage, um, the importance of family, all those are great values. Um, what I'm going to do right now is go through, uh, I guess you could call it verse by verse, what's called the Jedi Code. You may have heard about it before. It's listed, especially in old expanded universe books and prequel books. Um, I'll go through it really quick. This is uh, something that Jedi are supposed to learn in the Star Wars universe. Uh, it goes something like this. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. Now, while these do not echo 100% the values found in the Bible, there are several scripture verses that I think can at least to some extent back these up, or at least the basic concept of them. And I'm going to go through them one by one. The first of... Uh, so for there is no emotion, there is peace, uh, is 1 Thessalonians 3.16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times. The Lord be with you all. For the second part, there is no ignorance, there is knowledge. Uh, Proverbs 18, verse 15. An intelligent heart acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. Uh, for there is no passion, there is serenity. Isaiah 32, verse 17. And the effect of righteousness will be peace, and the result of righteousness, quietness and trust forever. That's not exact, but it's the closest one I could find. Uh, for there is no chaos, there is harmony. Psalm 133, verse 1. Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. And finally, for there is no death, there is the force. 
Titus chapter 1 verse 2, in hope of eternal life which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began. It's just something that, I don't know, sort of reinforces, um, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not good at articulating my thoughts right now, but anyway guys, uh, somebody wanted me to touch on the parallels between, um, religion or church and stuff taught in Star Wars, and to some extent that's, those are the main lessons I get out of it, my, like, main, like I said, mainly the theme of... Uh, forgiveness and the clear definition between good and evil. Now, if the day ever comes where the line between good and evil is blurred, that's the day when I walk away and stick to the one, stick to the episodes that have already come. Like I said, I'm not good at articulating my thoughts right now. I feel like I'm babbling. This is not. This is sort of thrown together on a whim because normally by now we'd be off to church and with the. Uh, something of a blizzard going on, and both of my parents not feeling good. Anyway, but that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more like them, go ahead and click that little subscription button below. Question of the day. Are there any elements of Star Wars that you find you can apply to your personal life, whether spiritually or mentally? Um, go ahead and post a comment below. I'm kind of curious. But until next time, this is the Clumsy Jedi signing off. Bye, guys.